Hello everyone, this is Chetali. I work for Media Agility. We are Google for Work Partner. And I have with me... Hi, this is Ajay here. And today we are going to talk about Google Apps Mobile Device Management. Over to you, Ajay. Thanks, Chetali. Hi guys, uh, so today we are going to talk about Google Mobile Device Management and here would like to see that how the mobility in enterprise is taking place, how we can secure the data when we are accessing it on the move and what all devices we can control or share access to our end users to consume or to access the enterprise data. So let's start with Google de Mobile Device Management. And the agenda for the discussion or the talk is what is MDM? What exactly mobile device management is? Why you should implement mobile device management? What you can achieve by implementing mobile device management? And then we'll talk about top FAQs or some questions that we always have in our mind that how mobile device management can help the business. So let's just start with the mobile device management. If we look at the fact when we are using a single device where we access our consumer data, that is the individual data, and the other hand we access the enterprise data. The biggest concern is who owns the data? and who can control the data. What kind of data can be controlled? What kind of data can be separated or segregated from a user's data? In this screen, you can see at the top we have a Google Mail icon with a symbol. At the bottom you see a different icon without a symbol. This is where we differentiate the access between consumer data and user data. Now what is mobile device management? Mobile device management is a type of security measure where you can manage the devices, the apps, the profile and the assets on which you are accessing your enterprise business data. Google Apps include easy to set up mobile management for Android and iOS that keeps employee happy and secure. Happy because their private data is only with them. They are the owner of their data and only they can access. As far as enterprise data is concerned, at one hand, there are enterprises who are concerned that when my data is on, on the device, who can access it, when can I access it, and what if my mobile device or a smart device get lost or get stolen, how can we secure that data? While Taking best of our investment with Google Apps, we also suggest you to implement mobile device policies because of the reason, first, it's an inbuilt security tool that's available to all Google Apps for work users. You can control the flow of data, you can control the accessibility of data on this mobile devices. Let's dig more about it, that what all control, what all policies and why we should implement MDM. First is keep the data secure. Here you can keep the data secure by opting option of containerization, which means that the user data will be in a separate console within the same mobile device or the smart device and the enterprise data will be in a different container. The control to which will be with the enterprise administrator. Who can access my enterprise account? On which device he can access? What all securities should be there in terms of the encryption, in terms of the code? That's what the IT administrator demands while talking about the enterprise data. Second, easy to manage. You can implement it right from the web. Need not to go for some server installations, some patches, and other control. It runs right on the web from where you can implement it. The best part is all these controls are easily manageable from a smart devices itself. So it's not necessary whenever there is a loop 
whenever there is a security update that's need to be made, you can do right from your mobile devices. Not just this, it also enables enterprises to have a model of bring your own devices by own. The emerging concept where organization can capitalize on the fact that now they don't have to invest on procuring those devices. Thus saving or lowering down your capex. At the other hand, employee sees a benefit now they don't have to carry multiple devices. Within the same device, they can configure their own personal accounts yeah, as well as enterprise accounts. Not just this. The other benefit behind this is the mobile apps. You can push business apps or the enterprise apps right from your mobile device management control panel. If there is an enterprise app that the organization is developing or an enterprise has developed an application to ease or to facilitate some other function that can be pushed right from the admin panel to the, all the users in one go. Now users don't have to look for where, from where to download, how to download and all. It's just right on their devices. And the best part is the collaboration on which the whole Google Apps for Work works. So you can easily collaborate using these smart devices with full featured control at your ease. Now looking at the benefit of mobile device management, the top of a head is the security. With the enterprise data, it's always who can access, when can access, what if, what else. All that has been taken care of with mobile device management implementation. Flexible working. Now, since you can access that data right on your mobile devices, you don't have to worry where you are at what point of time. So just going roll, just going back with the concept of any time, any device, any team. Here, a mobile device management enables the organization to liberate, to leverage that concept. Apps for employees. In a single push, all enterprise apps can now be simply pushed to individual users or to their devices. Collaboration and connectivity to work. Now, most of the time, we collaborate with remote workers, we collaborate with mobile workforces, we collaborate with sales forces on the field. It's easy to connect because now you have access to all the business information right at your hand with a simple device in your hand. So a lot of benefit around usage. What you can achieve by implementing Google Mobile Device Management. The best part is you don't have to invest even a single penny because it's available as a feature to all Google Apps for Work feature users. You can manage your organization mobile devices, which means you decide which device, who is the user, when was the last thing, whether data should be encrypted, non-encrypted, whether a sh screen should get locked, whether you have control where you can remotely wipe the data or the account if either employee is leaving the organization or has lost his device, maybe got stolen, it got damaged. So it's just the device which is at risk, not the data. So mobile device management, you can use it for configuring mobile setting, control what device, view devices, and how many devices are accessing your data. And if at any point of time, you think that there is a suspicious activity or there is a suspicious device accessing your data, you can stop that right away. And view all the apps that are enterprise installed apps on your Android devices. The key control, so you can reset the pin. Let's say someone has, someone was so lucky to get your device, now you can reset the pin. You might be trying to resetting this pin to access your data. But from the admin panel itself, the moment user reports to an admin, they can reset the pin. Ring device, lost of time, it happens that 
device is lying on a table or we forgot to bring our device we, uh, we are trying to locate where the device is but devices are on mute or they are in silence then we don't have any option to track such devices but now you can ring those devices right from your admin panel so even if you are sitting in a 10 floor building and you left your device at first floor and you your administrator sits in second you remember that it is on first floor, but where it is, you don't remember exactly. So you can ring with the help of the administrator, even when it's on silent mode, and then you can locate the device. Lock the device. Most of the time, people keep their devices open. So let's say you are at the lunch desk and you are having lunch. Some of your colleagues would like to access or just explore it. Since your device is open, they have access to everything. But here, by default, administrator can set the policies that the device should get logged automatically after 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. They depend on the uh, interval set by the administrator. The best part is wiping off devices. Consider a case that when employee is leaving the organization and he was accessing all your enterprise data on a mobile device. Now, since you don't own the device, you cannot ask the employee to delete the data or what if he has downloaded and moved to say that I have deleted account or you just reset the password but what happens to the data which is already downloaded on the device. So here you can wipe out those devices right from the admin panel within one single click. So the moment you get to know that this is the last day for an employee just wipe out all the data. So it's just the device that he owns, not the data. And locate. The best part is all devices are GPS enabled nowadays, so you can easily locate which particular location my device is. So consider a case you lost a device, or someone stolen your device. You can easily locate the location using Google Maps at the back. It's well integrated and locating your device during. GPS technology. So mobile device management architecture talks about the provisioning, security, support, monitoring, activating and configuration. So you provision devices, you secure devices by implementing those control. You can support the devices right from the admin panel. You can monitor the activity when was the last things you can deactivate. And if you would like to configure some policies, you can do right from there itself. So you can manage policies, you can manage applications, you can manage the servicing, you can manage the security and a lot of device management controls you are getting at your hand by implementing mobile device management. Now coming to the top questions on mobile device management or just say the top FAQs. We understand that how things were in the enterprises and people have concern while implementing those mobile device management. We are trying to cover top of FAQs. So to start with, is there an additional cost for mobile device management? The biggest concern for the enterprise while making a decision, what is the cost factor? And the good thing is mobile device management is included with Google Apps of Work where you have that complete collaboration and security platform so you are, don't have to pay even a single penny additional to implement Google Mobile Device Management. Does mobile device management work on Android and iOS? So as we see that there is a growing demand of Android and iOS devices in the market. Google has made a Google is making it available on these two platforms with every control and the policies that we have. So first thing is yes mobile device management is available on Android and iOS. Admin can enforce policies across both Android and iOS. So be it an Android tablet, be it an Android phone, be it an iPhone, be it an iPad, you have full control on implementing policies for it. Now we have heard or we have discussed a lot about mobile device management. Let's talk about how we can start it. You can start 
while taking a 30 day trial or you can contact us about Google Apps at marketing at the rate media.com as a new user or if you are already a Google Apps for work user we can help you to enable mobile device management right from your admin panel feel free to reach us or contact us at the above mentioned email address to know more about it just reach out to marketing media agility thanks Chitali I would like to hand it over to you for coordinating here thank you Ajay it was very insightful and I hope you liked it all and if you want to explore more just get back to us marketing at the rate media agility.com thanks all thank you bye bye